Welcome to Cell by London. My name is Dr. Nurmin Mustafa, and in this tutorial, I will um, explain and talk about essential laboratory calculations. So the objectives of this lecture is to define metric prefixes and converse, conversions. Um, in, as well, we need, we, I will explain how to work out concentration of a solution, um, concentrations by a factor of X and calculating the percent solution. Also, you will learn uh, how to calculate diluting percent solutions and moles and molecular weight calculating the molecular weight of a compound and to, to know more about the molarity and how to calculate the molar concentration of a compound um, and also diluting molar solutions. All these in the, the frame of um, molecular uh, laboratory uh, or molecular biological uh, uh, point from the molecular biological point. So, um, and also you will learn how to perform serial dilution of a solution. So starting, of, starting with lab calculations, you must know why it is important. Because you normally when you do experiments, you want it to be accurate. So you need accuracy. Um, and to get the accuracy, um, you have to calculate everything. Also, accuracy reflects consistency in results. So once you have one result, um, and you get um, the similar, you will get re similar results once your calculations are correct. Um, and in this case, it will be a true representation of your result, in, um, which means that you will have, uh, every time you get a result, this result is correct, becomes correct once your calculations are correct. Um, and this will mean that you will avoid misinterpretation of results and avoid failure. So talking about first thing, metric conversion. Metric conversions means that you there are two things you, you need to know definitions. So you need to know the definition of metric prefixes and conversion. So metric prefixes is a shorthand notation used to define values of different sizes of a basic unit as an alternative to expressing them as powers of 10. When you say you're speaking about metric uh, prefixes, um, you, you, you know, um, talking about metric prefixes, you, it's like when you say kilometer, kilogram, um, milli, liter and liters, all these are metric prefixes. So when you say milli or kilo or micro or nano molar or na sorry nano nanoliter or uh, nanometer or microliter, all the this this the first. Welcome to Cell by London Training Academy. My name is Dr. Nermin Mustafa, and in this tutorial, I will talk about essential laboratory calculations. So the objectives of this lecture is to define metric prefixes and conversions, work how to work out concentration of a solution, and also how to calculate uh, by a factor of X and percent solutions, and how to di calculate dilution, diluting percent solution and know more about moles and molecular weight. And um, we also are going to have some uh, problem solving in calculating the molecular weight of a compound, um, understanding molarity and calculating the molar concentration of a compound as well as diluting molar solutions. And finally, how to perform serial dilution of a solution. All these kind of calculations are, um, you will find that you will need to know them for molecular biology, from molecular biology perspective, just um, in case of um, doing experiments that need more calculations in this regard. Um, so, first of all, you must know why lab calculations are important. Um, when you do a, an experiment, you need to, you will need to know 
calculation of uh, the experiment, different calculations such as counting from cell counting cells or calculating concentration of uh, um, a solution or a buffer or a treatment. So if you do the calculations correctly, in this case, you get accuracy of results. And once you have accurate results, this means consistency, which means that your results will be um, consistent, every, consistent every time you will uh, do the experiment the same way, so you'll get the same result. And this will result in the true representation of your outcome. So once you get this, you know that this is true. And in this case, you will avoid misinterpretation of results, which means you avoid failure. So uh, correct calculations um, of uh, your experiment are really important in this case. So, so first of all, we'll talk about metric conversions um, and um, some get so we'll get some definitions such as metric prefixes and conversions. Metric prefixes are is a shorthand notation used to define values of different sizes of a basic unit as an alternative to expressing them as powers of ten. To know metric prefixes, um, uh, I believe you know it while you don't know that it refers to metric prefixes. So when you um, you buy uh, fruits, okay, so you buy fruits um, in kilograms. Um, so kilo is the metric prefix. And um, when you buy gold in grams, so grams is the metric prefix. So when you want to convert from kilogram to gram, so this is expressed in uh, powers of 10, which means that one kilogram equals 10 to the power of three grams, or one gram equals 10 to the power of negative three grams, uh, kilograms. So this is metric prefixes. When you say liter, so you buy uh, a bottle of milk, which is one liter, um, but you want to buy a bottle of medicine, which is 200 milliliter. So you, you, you know that liter is a metric, metric prefix. Um, mill is a metric uh, prefix. So you convert as well. So one liter equals 10 to the powers. That's the expression of three, to, of the mill and so on. So example of uh, metric prefix is one liter equals one multiplied by 10 to the power of six microliter. Also one nanogram is equals 10 to the power of nine, negative nine um, gram. So you need to be careful about the metric prefixes um, and conversion, uh, com conversion from one um, uh, metric prefix to another. So conversion means expressing a measurement with one metric prefix into an equivalent value. So it, it's you expressing the, the measurement of one metric prefix to an equivalent value defined using another metric prefix, uh, prefix. So you you express the liters here. For example, here you express one liter um, and you express it in another metric prefix, which is microliter. And you add, you multiply it by whatever the number you want. So, for example, if a conversion, uh, th normally the conversion factor is a numerical ratio, so you know, equal to one. Similar, for example, is one gram over 10 to the power of six microgram or um, and one to ten to times ten to the power of six microgram over one gram. So if you multiply this by this, it's equal one. So it's uh, it's a convert. This is how conversion conversion fa conversion factor equals one. So now you know that that this is called metric prefix, and the conversion means that you convert one metric prefix to another. Express it in a different uh, metric uh, prefixes. You will need that when you on you. Um, solve the problems um, because once you have uh, to, you want to calculate um, you have an, an, a problem in liters and you want you must uh, and the, the outcome needs to be in milliliters so you need to convert this um, example of the metric prefixes are giga mega kilo milli micro nano pico femto and ato and all these are the abbreviations used to express metrics 
metric prefixes, and these are the power of 10. So let's try problem solving. If we have uh, 50 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in one liter of water, and we want micrograms of sodium chloride dissolved into 250 ml of water. So there is a solution of 50 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in one liter of water. How many micrograms in this case of sodium chloride dissolved in um, 250 ml of water? To answer this question quickly in a fast way, so one liter, um, one liter equals 1,000 ml, right? So 250 is a quarter of one liter. So therefore, you need to get this co a quarter of uh, 50 grams. So you'll ca you will calculate a qu the quarter of 50 grams. Okay. However, I will show you another answer which uh, you will need in similar pro problem solving. Um, so first, first of all, You want to express the answer, the 50 grams into micrograms because they are asking for how many micrograms. So you have to convert the grams into micrograms. This is one thing. And you want the liter to be expressed in milliliter because the answer you they want is in milliliter. So you want you must also convert the one liter here into 10 to the power of three milliliter. Second of all, if we have 50 grams, and this is one way of answering questions similar to this. Um, this is an easy way, actually. So you will do an uh, draw an arrow. So you have um, uh, an, the, this number of sodium chloride, okay? And this amount of uh, this volume of mels. So how many how many micrograms of sodium chloride in 250 mels? So you, it's like you will do it like an X. So you will do 250 multiplied by this one, um, uh, which is 50 times 10 to the power of 6 sodium chloride, divided by 10 to the power of 3. It will give you the sodium chloride so this multiplied by this divided by this will give you this okay let me do something here let's check yeah okay so okay so now we know how to do it in this case Sodium chloride dissolved uh, in 250 ml equals 250 multiplied by 50 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 to the power of 3 and it gives you that 12.5 times 10 to the power of 6 micro 